If you are looking for an affordable used laptop, then this might be the way to go. This is still a pretty good laptop even after 13 years and you can basically find these for really low prices. Now this can run up to Windows 10. I wouldn't recommend forcing Windows 11 on this system because it simply won't be that good of an experience anyways. So this is on Windows 10. Alright, so let's start with the build quality of this laptop. I'd say that even today, it's still quite impressive. It has a rubberized ABS plastic lid, carbon reinforced bottom, and an internal magnesium alloy roll cage to protect from shocks and drops. Yes, you heard that right. And if you need proof, my X220, which is a little bit smaller than this, literally fell down from like 2 feet on its backside of the display while it was open and it didn't even have any major issues. There were no dents, no cracks, and the internal and external components were still intact. I checked that out. So I'm pretty confident that this T420 would also be as durable, if not even more, than the smaller X220. It is quite heavy for modern standards though as it weighs at around 2.1 kilograms and it has a 14 inch 1600 by 900 matte display panel. It's not very high resolution, but it'll be fine for doing most tasks. It's also way brighter than the X220, which I really like, as this one goes up to 230 nits. And overall, I think that it's just a better display than the X220. For the sound quality though, this basically has front firing dual speakers, so you'd think that these would be quite good because of that design but no they do not sound good and they do not sound loud at all like even the highest volume here would still be pretty quiet compared to its smaller counterparts which is really weird like even your phone would have way better speakers than this laptop but what about the price well we got this thing in 2021 for about hundred and ten dollars which would be about six thousand pesos back then so three years later that price would probably be even lower, which is a great deal. And with your CPU options, you can get the T420 with an i3, an i5, and even an i7, which I think would make it still capable of doing a lot of day-to-day -day tasks. And for the ports, since this was the last IBM-style ThinkPad that Lenovo made, it has pretty good I.O. in my opinion. It has two standard USB 2.0 ports and another one that is marked with yellow meaning that it's an always-on USB port. That means that even if you shut down your laptop, it can still power whatever is connected to it, which can be useful in some specific cases. Additionally, it also has an eSATA port, a display port, an express card slot, and an SD card reader, a full SD card reader, which is amazing capability. No need to buy dongles and hubs. So now let's talk about the performance of the T420. Basically, if you're considering buying one of these, you can also check other CPUs and other components that are compatible with this and then swap out some parts. And what about the actual usage of this laptop? Well, this one has an i5, 6GB of RAM, and a 200GB SSD. And I'd say that is actually quite decent. And now let's talk about the keyboard and the touchpad of the T420. First of all, it's way better than the X220 because this one actually has a smooth surface, unlike the X220. And for the keyboard, I think that it's mostly the same as the X220. This one just feels a little bit more refined. It has good travel, good tactility, and overall this can beat many cheap laptops that are brand new today. And let's now make our way to the software of the T420. So technically, it isn't officially supported with Windows 10 and 11. I don't recommend forcing it to Windows 11 though because I've had a pretty bad experience when I did it to my X220. And lastly, what about the battery life? Well, you could get this laptop with the standard 9 cell battery or the slice battery which is supposed to double the amount of hours that you can get on it. Here it has the standard one. And and it usually lasts for only one and a half hour, which today wouldn't be the most optimal for using it on the go. So that's the Lenovo ThinkPad T420 in 2024. Even after 13 years, this is still a usable laptop and it can actually be a decent daily driver for those who are looking for a budget laptop today. It still has good hardware and its upgrade potential is really something that should be considered. 
because you can literally put modern parts here and they can greatly improve the entire experience. So that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, then be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers on this channel. Stay with my friends. Goodbye.